Stroll has just facelifted the Corsa, and about time too. Rarely has a small car promised so much, yet delivered so little. It doesn't look much different. Observers Book of Automobiles readers will note the V-shaped grille at the front and the rounder bumpers. But the pretty styling was always the best thing about this car. The nasty bits were underneath. And nastiest of all was the suspension, a brain-bouncing, stomach-churning affair that would be more at home in an adventure park if only it had been more enjoyable. I'm happy to report, though, that a few tweaks to the springs and dampers and sharper steering have improved matters considerably. You can now sit back and enjoy the spacious and well-planned accommodation rather than just feeling queasy in it, and you won't lose your composure round the bends and over the bumps. But it's no transformation. Sadly, too much of the old car remains, like the soggy, stubborn pedals and the gear change, which won't, at least not without brute force. So whereas you can now use the power of Vauxhall's crisp 1.4 and 1.6 litre engines, you'd be far better entertained in the equivalent Fiesta or Polo. In fact, the best new courses look to be the cheapest, which are now available with a new 1 litre three-cylinder engine, which promises to be very economical. It sounds like it's escaped from a motorbike and makes up in buzzy, revvy eagerness for what it lacks in outright performance. Prices start from under £8,000. But there are still a couple of other nasties to consider. Our satisfaction surveys suggest the old car was blighted by suspect reliability and some of the most blitheringly incompetent dealers in the business. Only if Vauxhall have sorted these two will the Corsa finally be the car its shapely body always deserved. Thank you.